Watch you guys today we're taking a look at things to know before you buy a used computer I see a lot of people doing YouTube videos on used PC parts and I wanted to make a video to show you what you should be looking out for when you're buying a used computer so you can see here I'm not looking at any sort of computer on here in particular I'm just showing you some of the PCs that I've just looked for you can see this one's around about 380 pounds and I get asked all the time, what is an actual computer worth? You can see here, it's got an AMD A4-6320, and also it's got a, a 1050Ti uh, gigabyte graphics card in there. It says 32 gigabytes of DDR3, uh, 1600 megahertz uh, memory in there. Now you can see here, the CPU itself, you can pick these up for £17.99. pence. So it's not the bestest CPU in the world. And this is the problem, you need to know uh, what you're looking for and what the approximate age is of that computer that you're buying. You can see inside here, uh, not too dusty, but you can see it's a mix match of uh, parts in here, red and blue, ketchup and mustard cables all over the place. And that's normally a sign of a really cheap power supply in here. We've got generic RAM inside here as well. And you can see it's been put together uh, pretty poorly. So do your research and check whether it's got branded parts in here or whether it's got cheap generic parts. Also, you can see on the back, it's got a, a wireless uh, card in here. They're showing you things like this, which really doesn't really mean much to you because you can always purchase uh, these pretty cheaply. So don't get pulled, pulled in by thrown in keyboard and mouse and monitor and things like that. This is just gonna bump the price up. Look for something that you want and you can see here the Co-Link uh, Core is the actual power supply here. It says 80 plus white label. And you can see they're around about 26 pounds. And for the 600, uh, 44 pounds, probably not worth. And that's for the bronze one, by the way. So it's probably cheaper than that. It's probably around about 26 odd pounds. So it's not a great power supply in all honesty. And this is the thing you need to look for. So after a while, you'll start to get the idea of how much stuff is actually worth. And you can see they start bunging in uh, keyboards and mouse and uh, sometimes old monitors and stuff just to bump the price up a little bit. And when you do your research, you can see here, just a quick, I'll just knock this up quickly. You can probably trim this down and tweak it even better. Uh, but basically you're a brand new computer here, Ryzen 5 2600, uh, decent motherboard, upgradable, uh, to more third gen uh, Ryzen processors as well. You can see it's only £509 and I can probably spend a bit more time and get that price down. So you're going from £380 uh, for an old system compared to a Ryzen 5 2600 which is really sort of a decent bit of kit. This is an A4 processor which is absolutely rubbish. So research the particular computer that you're interested in purchasing and what is it worth and then work out whether they're branded parts or cheap generic parts as well and what is the approximate age of that computer. Even though it's really looking in good condition it doesn't necessarily mean it's uh, new, it could be 10 years old. So you can see here we've got another one here. Now you can see here that we've got the FX6100. This is a very old processor, it's, it's probably around about 2011 and it's got an Nvidia 970. So what you want to do is pay what you think it's really worth and then also pay no more and walk away if you uh, don't feel uh, comfortable. Watch out for people that put old parts in new cases and watch out for the people that put in LED lights, fans and, and all that sort of stuff to try and jazz it up a bit. And as you can see here, and as you can see here, the FX6100 was released in 2011 and the GTX 970 was actually released in 2014. Uh, so you want to make sure that you're not paying uh, modern prices for old uh, hardware. And you can see this one here does have an R9270X uh, inside here. It does have the FX6300 in here with 8 gigabytes of RAM. And uh, when you read the small print, you're not actually... Um, getting much for your money to be honest with you because if you do your research you'll find out that this system is pretty old and you can see the state of the computer it's in a pretty poor state and uh, to be honest it's not really worth uh, the money that they're asking I don't think a lot of these systems are worth that sort of money you've got the R9 2070X 
uh, is 37 pounds buy now price you can probably get these cheap if you look around so what you want to be doing is doing your own research and knowing what computer components are and how much they're worth what the brand and model number is and research those on ebay and you'll find out what those are worth as you can see here we've got a 499 pound pc here and this one uh, looks rather nice it's clean and uh, it's obviously clean now but you can see here that sit uh, power supply in there is a really cheap power supply and uh, that's a 500 watt this one's a 600 watt in here bronze certified you got the sandisk 250 gigabyte it's probably a 240 and you've got a bunch of other stuff in here you can see that's only 28 pounds so when you start totting this stuff up it isn't really th that much worth buying you can see here they sell them uh, the cex sell the cpu for 62 pounds and also the graphics card is only around about 90 pounds so once you start putting that together it isn't such a much of a good deal it's got a nice motherboard in there with the asus maximus ranger and uh, you can see 499 pound it is pretty much at that money really or probably a little bit over and he's selling another one here for 499 pounds as well and what people want to do is sometimes offload all their old uh, systems and buy new because they know AMD's just released their new stuff and they want to get rid of all their old stuff and of course they want to get the best bang for the buck and sometimes they gild the lily a little bit and make it sound worth more than what it actually is and when you break it all down uh, some people don't actually know what their PC is worth and uh, when you break it down it's actually not worth as much as they think it is because they paid £1,500 for it uh, you know three four years ago they think it's still worth a thousand pound you know and it's not so you have to do your research and if you don't know anything about computers then take a knowledgeable friend along with you or ask around and find out what the quality is and what the accurate value for that system should be and if you don't have a knowledgeable friend you can always ask someone on discord or even on a forum somewhere and they normally give you a quick honest answer so this pc here is a class as a gaming pc wants 250 pound or best offer 200 pound you can see fx 8350 it's got an r9 uh, 280x two sticks of ram and uh, it's got also corsair cx uh, 600 power supply case is not included also selling the sd separately so basically you're not getting that much really and you can see here the chips here are going for around about 30 40 pounds and uh you can buy these pretty cheaply as you can see there's some here uh, up here for 50 pounds no one's bought that but of course they won't buy it because it's not worth it anymore because amd's brought all the prices down on their first and second gen uh, processors which means that these are now obsolete unless you pay peanuts for them they're just not worth it anymore so be careful what you're buying you're buying really old technology compared to the modern day technology where amd is at the forefront of cpus whereas the older stuff wasn't so what do you guys think let me know whether you think these gaming computers that i've been showing you are actually worth the money i want to see what people think in the comments section below let me know whether you think they're worth exactly what they're asking for and also when you're looking for these uh computers online make sure people are putting up plenty of images for you to see what you can buy and also check all the images and look very closely you can see here this one's got windows 10 enterprise in it well i can tell you right now that's probably a pirated version of windows on there so you've already lost your version of windows and you can also see there's a bunch of uh, other things on here and they're asking for 200 pounds for this system so bear in mind check the age check the quality of the components and also what you want to do is before you meet the seller make sure he's got the computer running and also when you get there give it a good test take your testing software with you your gpu tester your cpu tester and take your time and test the system before you give over your hard-earned cash especially on a marketplace here you can go and meet the seller and make sure you're meeting them at their home as well now of course what a lot of people do when they're selling their systems they go on youtube and they go on other places and see that they've got an i7 2600k and it's still capable of playing games and then they want to go and ramp the price up a little bit and of course some person's going to pay a lot of money for a very old system this is a pretty old system you want 400 pounds for it and i can tell you right now i wouldn't be giving 400 pounds of my hard-earned cash 
for a system that is super super old i mean you want to get it as dirt cheap as possible because let's face it if that person's getting rid of it it's probably already had a hard life and they don't want it anymore and they just want to get uh, offload it and get as much money for it as possible and of course there's one born every minute someone will come along and eventually will buy it and eventually that person's going to be poorly educated when it comes to computers and they're going to end up buying a lemon basically and it's not going to be worth the money they're asking for it so here we have another one this one is worth 850 pounds according to this person he's also given you a 144 hertz monitor it has got a 1070 8 gigabyte graphics card in here with uh, an i5 8400 ddr4 uh, memory 16 gigabytes and also 256 gigabytes solid state drive and one terabyte of hard drive inside there and you can see uh, it's 850 pounds so you have got a more modern type pc and you'll see people actually saying this plays all triple a listed games and and things like that do your own uh testing on it make sure it's good enough for what you want it to do so that comes to the next thing you should be asking yourself is what do you want the computer for do you want it for gaming do you want it for video editing do you want it for photo editing or general use and um, don't buy stuff that you don't need i.e monitors speakers mouse keyboard etc this just bumps the price up and you're going to end up buying a pc with all the stuff that you don't need uh, because obviously you may have all that stuff at home and it, all that's going to do is put another a good few uh, hundred pounds on top so with this uh, monitor out of the way and the keyboard and mouse and everything else and just the computer how much is it actually worth 850 pounds a lot of money and you can get a pretty good modern day pc for that uh, so be careful when you're buying used parts remember these are used parts they're not brand new and this is why you need to be very careful when you're buying uh, PCs online. You can see here £210 for this one. This is a 1050 Ti, 8GB of RAM with an i5-2500 in there. It was a good chip in its day, but it's old and you've got a one terabyte hard drive. These can be picked all up for pretty cheap. So basically, don't pay uh, the going rate for something and not get a bargain you want to try and get a bargain in this game that's what it's all about you're not trying to uh, give that person uh, more than what this stuff is worth or give that person uh, the exact amount you want to try and go there and break him down a bit and get that as cheap as possible because then it's worth buying because remember this is already had a hard life in itself now someone's selling a modern day pc here and this is what i was trying to say to you earlier on you can see here this is a ryzen 5 2600 GTX 1070 and it's got a bunch of other stuff in here and he's actually listed it exactly how you should be seeing these listed brand new EVGA 500 watt power supply brand new error call bolt RGB case and things like that this is what you're looking for so you've got brand new crucial ballistic 16 gigabytes of DDR4 and uh, the graphics card is probably going to be used so that's 630 pounds and it's not a bad uh, system you've got a 1070 8 gigabyte strix graphics card in there and uh, they're still going for a fair bit of money so i don't think it's overpriced by massive amounts it's a pretty decent uh, bit of kit there so you can see here we've got another older type system and this is what you've got to look out for fortnite gaming pc and they'll use titles like this to try and sell it but as you can see the specs on the system so as you can see here it is 125 pounds you're getting an i3 2100 cpu also four gigabytes of ram and also 120 gigabyte solid state drive 250 gigabyte hard drive and a gtx 650 these bits have been pulled together and put together to get a working machine it's probably been pulled out of an old uh old machine like an old uh, dell or something along them lines on hp because i did see a green motherboard in there so that's something else to watch out for is when people are buying old stuff and then ripping them out and putting them into new cases and putting some LED lights in there and calling it a gaming system. Be very careful on those people and steer clear from those sort of systems because they're not worth it and they're not uh, great for the future uh, and upgradability, you know. So you're just buying older systems from really old uh, offices and stuff like that. They're not worth it, okay? And of course, the thing you've got to look out for is uh, sellers on eBay selling stuff that isn't worth um, what it is really to be honest you can see here fast gaming pc computer bundle with intel quad core i5 
and uh, you can see here it's a, a 16 gigabytes of memory which is generic um, memory which will be green they'll fill up the bays on the motherboard with all the old green uh, memory it'll have a terabyte drive in there and it's got a GT 710 which isn't worth anything they've probably got these from offices and stuff like that and of course what you're getting is an old second gen i5 processor so you can see here on eBay if you do your research they're only about 15 pounds and they're not buying these they're getting them inside old systems they're ripping them out and sticking them into uh, a board uh, or of getting them cannibalized from old systems you can see here on Wikipedia here they were released in 2009 and 2010 which makes them super old and they're not worth spending your money on so these systems here there's a massive markup on these systems for these people because they're not really putting a lot to it to be honest with you and uh, that's what it is so you've got to be very careful when you're buying used or even these new uh, computers with old parts in them okay anyway I'm gonna wrap this one up I'm starting to uh, waffle on and I shall see you again for another video real soon hope this has been useful to you my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and have a great day and I shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos